Arrange the two independent HistoCore Arcadia modules according to the embedding workflow that best suits your laboratory workflow. The minimum distance between wall and instrument should be 15 centimeters. For comfortable working heights, take care that the instrument is positioned in a way that permits the operator to use it without bending his head. The working surface should be leveled with the operator's elbows. Install the embedding mold tray and the cassette tray, and close the trays with the corresponding lids. Depending on your preferred working direction, the two heated trays can be used for molds or cassettes. Insert the forceps holder that can hold up to six forceps. Then insert the paraffin filter holder into the outlet hole inside the paraffin tank. Check that the black O-ring seals the hole. Now connect Arcadia H and C to the power supply. Fill the paraffin tank with either paraffin pellets or with liquid paraffin. Insert standard molds or mega molds. Fill the cassette tray with liquid paraffin. Cassette and mold trays can be stored according to your preferred working direction. Add forceps and you are ready to set up your working parameters and start embedding specimens. Switch on the instrument and control the embedding system with a backlit touch screen. All relevant information is indicated here, such as working days, current time, and defined start and end time, temperature of trays, paraffin tank and the working surface, a melting indicator, plus setup and light buttons. The temperatures for the instrument different heating areas, such as trays, paraffin tank and dispenser, and working surface and forceps holder, can be adjusted separately from 50 to 75 degrees Celsius in 1 degree Celsius increments. Work days and times can be programmed for automatic instrument operation. The date and time shown on the control panel must be set to the current local time to ensure correct operation of the time program control. An automatic switch on feature is linked to individual predefined workdays. The preferred date format can be selected. On weekdays that have been defined as workdays, the instrument will be heated up to the required temperatures in time and is ready to operate when needed. Set start and end time of the desired operating mode with the control buttons. The instrument goes into the preheating mode five hours before the start time. The instrument switches on or off automatically at the programmed start and end times and goes into standby mode. The Arcadia embedding system is able to run in 24-hour shift mode. Set the start time and end time to the same value, and the instrument will run continuously, even on days that are not defined as work days. When your Arcadia H is heated, 
you may store your cassette baskets in the cassette bath and start the embedding process. An LED light provides bright, even illumination of the embedding area and the cold spot for optimum visibility during paraffin dispensing and orientation of the tissue specimen. The quantity of paraffin released from the filler tube should be adjusted continuously with a metric screw in advance, depending on the size of the mold. For use with large molds, the pressure clip can be reversed to leave more space under the filler tube to fill larger cassettes. When using standard cassettes and or molds, simply push the mold with your forceps or your finger against the pressure clip. Pushing the handle backwards will open the dispenser valve. Once released, the handle flips back in the original position and the valve closes. Open your cassette and select a suitable mold, depending on the size of the tissue. Transfer the tissue to the mold and start to release paraffin. The large cold spot is designed to assist tissue orientation even with large super mega cassettes. Place the cassette body on top of the mold and fill it up with paraffin. Store your filled molds on the cooling plate of Arcadia C. The cold plate is held at a constant temperature of minus 6 degrees Celsius. The generously dimensioned cooling surface has room for around 60 blocks. To incorporate excess paraffin, Two indirectly heated paraffin collecting trays are located under the working surface that can be removed for emptying and disposal. Please do not reuse the paraffin. To facilitate specimen orientation when embedding, the optionally available magnifier provides a clear view of the work area. The magnifier can be installed in the two tap holes on the dispenser with a screwdriver. The foot switch is an optional accessory that can be used to activate the dispenser valve, leaving the operator's hands free. If more space is needed to fill larger cassettes, the pressure clip can be folded backwards and the paraffin flow activated via the foot switch. To connect the foot switch, insert the plug into the connecting port on the rear of the instrument and tighten the screws. All common laboratory cleaning products suitable for the removal of paraffin, such as xylene substitutes and paraffin remover, can be used to clean the work area. Use the specially designed paraffin scraper to properly clean the surface grooves.
To clean the paraffin tank, either empty it or clean it prior to refilling with new paraffin. Take out the filter and clean the work tank with paper tissue. If necessary, use xylene substitutes and paraffin remover. Once per day, clean the forceps holder thoroughly with paper tissue. Regularly clean the light surface. Empty both paraffin collecting trays at least daily in order to prevent overflowing into the instrument. For removal, the paraffin collection trays must be warm. Do not reuse the paraffin.